and welcome back to Whispering Ashes. Again? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. I'm always excited to play your games, Dylan. <laughs> Yeah, because my games are like good, family-friendly fun. Apart from all the times where I absolutely traumatized you as Sid, but mm. like, yeah, exactly. Or killed my best friend. Or I was about to say spoilers, but no, I realized that's that's way, way in, in the, the past. past. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, that's already live. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, look, Ryan. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not excited. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sitting here in Christmas GM crying internally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where are the jingle bells? <laughs> so. Soon. Only like one of you. To go. Two months ago. Unfortunately. One. Okay. One of you has to give me a recap. Oh. Hmm. Do you want to roll first? Yeah, we'll roll off. I, I mean, we only have D6s. 2D6. So. Yeah, 2D6. Okay. Lowest. Very likely that our robot got it against seven. I got, oh, I got snake eyes. <laughs> okay, yeah, grand. I got a 10. <laughs> um, so, in the unnamed city and state that we started in, started in Shelbyville. Shelbyville. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we opened up with a horrifying nightmare that uh, Jim's character, Gordon James Morris, was having. Yeah. Um, prophetic or not to be determined um like no i just wanted to traumatize him it has nothing to do with i mean that's also a possibility um but if you listen to our talk back episode we have we have thoughts we have thoughts um uh yeah so you opened up uh so graciously with that nightmare thanks ryan um of someone uh trying to successfully Oh, successfully. Yeah. They were trying to escape the only way they saw. The only way they could. Yeah. Um, and if this is an episode, I'm not going to go over that yeah. again. Yeah. We then woke up to realize that our daughter, Alison, had not come home. No. Um, I, as Isabel Keen, was kind of very direct and forceful into instructing or requesting that my husband, somewhat renowned detective, find out what was going on. Makes sense. Um, That's my job. We tracked what leads we could down to a local bar called Savages, where we found out that, by all accounts, was that our daughter and her date, her Tinder date, had been roofied. Uh, by who? We don't know. And after a lot of, a lot of unsuccessful searching and tread pulling and very many I feel like we did a lot with what we had. We did a lot with what we it had. It just we, didn't work. We, we fully explored all avenues that were available to us. Yeah, there were two, sure. Shelby and Belby. <laughs> yeah, we we fully explored Shelby and Belby. I just, yeah, have spent the last eight months just brought, like driving through the town every day for like two hours. It's proved nothing. I know, I said it. It's just fucking heartbreak. <laughs> yeah. Um... I love that. My, yeah. my husband has been, you know, signed off of work with stress. And I had two two stress. <laughs> two stress. Two yeah. stress. <laughs> and <laughs> until eventually, eight months later, we finally got a lead in the missing persons case of Allison, where uh, there was a man named Max, a skeevy character. Yeah, Maximilian. I, he really came <laughs> to the fore in that scene, I think. And let us know that... He was hired, I think, hired or at least mm-hmm. asked yep. to steal uh, Susie's car. I don't really trust Susie. I'm not really sure what her intentions are with my husband. But <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that he was hired to basically bring Allison to a place called Robinson's Farm, which is on the outskirts of a small little backwater town called Connorsville, where we arrived in a frantic hurry to be greeted by a lovely old woman in who, a what a frantic hurry a frantic hurry I just said a frantic hurry and I was like is that the car we're driving yes <laughs> it is um, now yeah now we arrived in a Brentley obviously obviously yes it's got yeah. one of we, those horns that when you press it goes, duh, 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 duh. Yes. <laughs> we have money <laughs> yeah we do we do have money um so yeah we hopped into our our twin Brentleys um drove to Robinson's farm and we were informed that there is a cult uh, of course, 
Of course. course. And the episode uh, was called The Cult. The episode was called The Cult. Uh, we then got greeted by a lovely old woman who invited us to join a sermon. Um, we kind of did so in the hopes that we would see Alison in the congregation. Uh, we did not. We instead met a pastor who called himself The Father. Mm-hmm who seemed to know a lot about us and seemed to insinuate that it was Alison's choice all along to come and join this cult, which is highly suspicious. Well, insinuated that it was our fault. Oh, yes. Also insinuated that it was our fault that she chose to join the cult. Well, you all didn't make a very loving home. Well, we it's not about love. It's about stability and opportunity. Career progression. Yes. Did, well, that's... Did you change the horrific picture? Oh, my God. Yeah, I did. set it on a timer. You're welcome. <laughs> this is how well I have your demise planned out. Oh, Jesus. You like that? Now we're in the swamp. No, yeah. I don't like it. That's Why would you think I like it? That's on purpose. Why would you think I like any of this? For, for the anyway, listeners at home, I have, sw- I have a themed background on our recording screens. So Anyway, so we're in the swamp town of Connorsville. We just talked to the father who insinuated that because of our poor parenthood that Allison had run away to join a cult. And when we started getting a little uppity, and Gordon James started his literally u- stand up at a young Yeah, he started his usual kind of like aggressive self um, towards solving problems. Uh, we got cracked in the back of the head with a rifle butt. Well, at least that's what we assume. I think Gordon would know the feel of a rifle on the back of his head. Like, mm. yeah, he yeah, identified yeah. it in the heartbeat before he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, that's a Smith and West. <laughs> 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 and then we got knocked out. And now it's Ryan's turn to continue the horror. It is. So, as your vision begins to fade in, you see your hands in front of you bound by rope. Not a great start. And uh, you are kneeling on your knees in the swamp water, which is coming up to when you're mm. on your knees, is kind of like halfway up your thighs. Yeah. So, so nice. if you were standing, say, it would be really, like shin height. That's like really yeah. fucking shin height. Yeah. unhygienic. Real like unhygienic. Middle, middle of your shin. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you hear a voice go, Oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. You said we're in, in the swamp, not a cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you hear. He really does say that. Um, (laughs) You turn and you see this kind of long-haired individual with long blonde hair. This this guy that is also bound beside you. He's like, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Come on now. Like, like, you're okay. You're okay. Like, you'll make it through this. Hey there. Hey. hey. So what's your name? What's your name? And he turns to you, uh, Isabel. I'm... Who are you? Who are you? What, what do you mean we'll get through this? What is this? My, my name's Michael. My name's Michael. This is uh, first time, huh? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Slam of the references into this. <laughs> um, but he's like, look, uh, I'm sorry that you have to 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 come into into our home this way. Um, the family is is not so great at, at new people. Uh, the, you know, my father can be a bit aggressive here. Um, who, who is your father? He's all our father, but uh, he's right. Yes, yeah, my course. father. Yeah, and it's it's okay. Like like we'll be okay. Yeah, you, you, your head's not bleeding or anything. Is, you know? is he beside me or in front Michael? of me? Yeah, Michael's Michael. leaning beside you. He's not bound. He's he is bound. Oh, okay. he's on his knees okay. as well. Right. Uh, can I see anyone else? Is it dark out? What's the what's the lay of the land so here? As your as vision, kind of like, so you're looking to your left, and that's where Michael is. You look to your right, and you see your husband, you know, quite groggy as well, mm-hmm. uh. starting to come to. And then you hear splash. M- mentally, as I see that, like I'm like listing all the signs and treatments of like concussions and stuff like that in my head. Yeah, and you hear splashing in the water as footsteps, you know, come close to you. Oh. My new sheep have awoken. But he uh, just We're kinda... not sheep. We Woman! You will keep your mouth shut until I ask you to speak. I think Isabel is just so shocked into silence. Yeah. That, yeah. He walks past you all and walks over to Michael. My son, my flesh and blood. You cannot stop yourself from sinning, ever. You just keep 
sinning and sinning. It's like you do not wish to enter the gates of heaven with your own family, boy. What are you doing? You know that we cannot have you doing this. Stopping all this that we have finally put together as a family. No, you will learn this lesson. And then he yells to someone you can't quite see in the distance. You know, your eyes are still quite foggy and it's dark. It is now night. Okay. Middle of the night. Well, quite late. It's dark. You know, I mean, it is October, so it gets dark early. Mm. Um, and you feel the cold of the water on you. You see this huge hulking form walk over. It's Gregory. I was about to say, it's fucking Gregory. <laughs> and he turns to you, Isabel, and Gordon. He says, This here, this is one of the best members of my flock. You see, the angels touched his tongue as a child, and he does not speak the words that you and I understand. They touched his mind, and only he can tell what the Lord wants of him. But he is one of our best. This hulking figure seems to have something draped over his over his shoulder and is carrying something in his other hand. Oh, my angel, my son will not stop sinning. Please give Michael the chains. And this figure grabs by the bounds in, you know, between uh, yeah. the, the rope between his wrists and drags Michael to his feet and pretty much drags him off somewhere in the distance. And uh, this entire time, as the uh, father speaking to you, you hear Michael desperately trying to recite the Lord's Prayer as there is a crack and another crack and another crack as he wails out in pain. The father says, yes, you see, our Savior, he showed us the path that we should follow for redemption. The first is to have all of this sin ripped away, to have the cat of nine tails flogged upon your back until you will sin no more. And you, you come into my family and you wish to pry away one of my daughters. Oh, this will not stand. Not ye who sin again and again. My flock know my name and they follow me. They do not follow you, Isabel. They do not follow you, Gordon. No, no, no. But you will learn. You will learn not to sin. You will learn to follow the Lord. And do not worry, for these sins will be washed away. Now I tell you, Gordon, repent of your sins to me now. Tell me, how have you sinned? I didn't shoot you the second I walked in here. He backhands you <coughs> hard. You know, you tell the Lord and you tell your father how you have sinned. Fuck me. How have I sinned? I'm not telling him how I sinned. Fuck him. Like I said. At this, he reaches into his trench coat and he pulls out a nine millimeter gun and he puts it onto your forehead. And he said, there is one way into heaven. And if I need to strip away this sinful mind of yours, I will to ensure you Gordon, get there. Gordon, Gordon, Or just, you just will play repent. Play his fucking games. Just play his fucking games. Fine. What do you want? Tell me how you have sinned, boy! Uh, I've, I've, I've arrested some folk I shouldn't have. Who? The vagrants. You! So you threw those in, into shackles that were sinless like our father was. Like our savior. You condemned them the way that he was condemned. Is that true? Yes. You are filth! And he hits you across the face with the gun. And you take a point of damage. Ow, my face. Then he walks over to you, Isabel, and he clasps your chin with his hand, pushing your head up to look at him. And he goes, tell me, daughter. Tell me and tell the Lord. 
How have you sinned? I have used the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> Pathetic! What in your heart keeps you up at night, child? I have been weak. I have not let Jesus Christ to guide me as he should. Roll a uh, manipulation for me. I was hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, when he had the gun to my head, I was going to be like, thou shalt not kill, but I didn't want to fucking... I feel like he would have killed me for the laugh then. Don't worry, I got that prepped <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that is uh, two successes. Nice. So are which, you which means I can stunt. Stunt on yeah. Um, I, I need a, I, there's a tough choice here, I think. I, I think probably the only realistic choice with it is my opponent is impressed by me. So I've maybe tried to put... I've, like... I'm trying to just play his game because I know, like, he has all the power here. So I'm trying to, like... I'm just trying to deceive him. But I think I've probably put on a good enough display. Yeah. That he's... 100%. So what he says to this, because he knows that you're not, you know, a religious type. Yeah. Or anything. He says... Your fear is changing you, and that is okay. Embrace that. It is helping you to see the light. Yes, but don't worry. We will show you how to walk the path, and you will walk the path that he walked himself. But you, Gordon, you could learn a thing or two. But don't worry. We will help this be stripped away. And at this point... The uh, you realize that you haven't heard Michael call out in a while. The angel appears again. He says, "These two do not need the chains, but show them the path of our Lord." And uh, the angel, you know, you realize that you two are kind of bound together at like you know, like with a rope, like at mm. your waist bit. Um, and he grabs your. Um, ropes, Isabel. Mm. And so then leads the two of you. And through this swamp water that you kind of, you know, having to wade a bit. Like, it's not really wade, you know, it's like yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. middle of your Huddle. shin. Yeah. Um, and as you get over there, you see three posts in the ground. Three, like, wooden posts that would be about, like, chest height. Mm -hmm. And you see three bodies slumped on these. The middle you recognize by the long blonde hair as Michael. What's that? He dead? The angel goes, I know it's a little. And uh, on the other two are just, seems like rotting bodies. The Jesus. angel, Jesus, fuck, kicks you in the back of the leg, Gordon, to make you <clears throat> kneel down again. I, like, as he does, I also just kneel right away. As yeah. you do that, he grabs your ropes and yanks you back to your feet, Isabel. I, I, I apologize. He kicks over one of the bodies that's on the posts. And then you see that there is a hook on these posts for him to Fuck. put your your ropes onto. Oh, okay. okay. I thought this was like a fucking dead... No, what's no, the, no. What's no not yeah, dead yeah, by yeah, daylight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's to hang them so you're facing sure. the post. Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. With your arms yeah, yeah. above you to be flogged. Yeah, yeah. And, and he begins to untie the rope at your waist. And then he begins to lead you away. And Gordon, you on your knees are now watching your wife. Yes, you've had arguments with. Be led away to be flogged potentially to death if she can maintain her life on these posts. You can roll initiative. Uh, you can too. Well, okay. Uh, five. Uh, four. So five is actually the highest roll. Okay. Now, you see around you, you know, this is swampy. There's rocks, bushes, you know, things like that. Like, kind of like big, bouldery type things. Arm length, you know, like in diameter or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like grabbable rocks. There's bushes. There's like, sticks and things like that. Can, do I still like driftwood and stuff yeah. like? Yeah. I'm guessing I don't still have my gun. You do not, as you check for it. Yeah, all your all your stuff is missing. I'll, I'll give you that as like a free action to check. You know, you don't have your gun or anything. So fucking generous. Both of you <laughs> are missing everything. But but now then, tell me this. I'll tell you this. Both of you add one stress. And you both I mean, need yeah. to make a panic uh, roll. Just the yeah, fucking, just yeah. the one? Fair, 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 fair. Uh, Three. Well, that's, I'm not looking at that, doesn't count. 
Uh, also three. Yeah, it's a three stress situation. Yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty three stress situation. Um, so this is not too strange a situation for Gordon. Like he's a cop, you know. Actually, weirdly, not the first time he's been tied up with a gun to his head. He's led quite a cop life. There's been cartels, terrorists, all this kind Maybe of stuff. Maybe the first time you've seen your wife in this situation. Though. Yes, that's where the stress is coming yeah. from yeah. for him. <laughs> yeah, like, I would it's got, like I said, it's got like it's got a flavor to it. Yeah, right. You know, this is uh, the hillbilly DLC. He didn't know he was going to be playing in. But this um, is Far Cry Five in real life. He still has his instincts. So here we go. The big guy, the the angel, has. Isabel. And his back is to you as he's leading her away. So. Where's the father? Uh, Further has, back into the swamp. He has left. Okay. Um, yeah. This is angel work. This is angel work. This is angel work. His back is to me. My hands are bound. Straight up, running at him, jumping over, and trying to choke him with the rope that my hands are bound with. Incredible. Yes. So roll a, uh, a close combat for me. Yes. And that's going to be uncontested because he can't see you. I actually will give you plus one to that because he can't see you. Yes, that's a success, but also I hit a stress dice. You hit a one on your I stress? Hit a one. So. Okay, so you need to roll your d6 on stress first. Nice. That's a one on that. Again. Good, good, so, good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, cool. I have a bit of a panic moment when I think, like, Jesus Christ, am I actually doing this? Okay, here we fucking go. Absolutely tear up and get the rope around his, his neck and start trying to choke the fucker out. Yeah, that is perfect. That is that is really good. It is going to be his turn. Now. I rolled a four. I rolled a four as well. Okay. And so he gets to go. As as upset as he is with this, he actually just continues and uh, pushes you forward, Isabel, and then takes out his flog and whips it at you. Jesus. I mean, well, if he's determined to do that, that's our benefit then. Not yours, but I, <laughs> I, I, I can keep fighting him yeah, if he's yeah, focused if he can, on that, yeah. you know? That's I just a worrying amount of dice. That's ten dice. Like, tw- tw- ten fucking dice? He's going to stunt on you so hard. <laughs> Get stunted on, man. <laughs> we were in the woods and there was this new giant stunted <laughs> on my wife. <laughs> so this, this latches into you and pulls flesh away and you take one stress um, and also it, uh, and take one point of damage. Have I been placed onto this hook? No, he just pushed you forward and just whipped okay. at you. Is there any way I can use like a fast action to try and dodge, get out of the way, kind of anything? The uh, So actually a, a thing with this is that it's kind of similar to um, D&D. You, you have to pre-save for, well, you, there's certain ways that you can evade mm-hmm. and things like that. But the same way in D&D that you can't just decide to evade. I need afterward. to have like actively taken the equivalent of the dodge action or whatever. Yeah, which okay. there isn't really, but also to block, you have to have an item in this. Okay, so. yeah, I need to actually have something to block with. Um, yeah, so you take one damage and then you get... One damage uh, and one stress, you said? Because or, you took damage, you get a stress. Because I took damage, Do I, get, I get a stress for having seen a humanoid get flayed? No. Okay. <laughs> My wife, the humanoid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think so highly of me. So I see this happening and I'm like, fuck, Izzy, move! Uh, and it's me? Yeah, fuck. My husband, this is what my husband does for a living. I will just try to like, I think just like get to the other side of this pole so there's like at least something, something between, between yeah. you know, and as that is like a very makeshift armor. So I'm assuming that's like a fast action to try and like disengage or like run away. Does he still have hands on you? No. He, no. He, he, he threw you forward to, to, whip. To, yeah. to whip. You do need to make an agility I, a, I, a mobility. I will do that. Doctors are notoriously agile. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> um, You know, I've done some surgery and stuff. I have to be like somewhat dexterous. Because otherwise he gets like a free attack. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that is a success. But cool. it is also a one on my panel die. Uh, that is a panic roll of an eight. An eight. So for everyone at home, basically what I'm doing is I roll a die and I add the result of that to my stress level, which is currently two, and I rolled a six. Basically anything over a six, so like seven and above, is bad news. Um, it's going to start relatively not so bad, but the potential for yeah, spiraling. Yeah, rapidly. Uh, and it's kind of the stress mechanics that we we're talking about that's like baked into the system, which is really it's cool. It's actually very lucky that you had already passed your agility roll because you have taken on a tremble as you are terrified. You've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And you have a minus <laughs> two to agility rolls, you know, as until your panic stops. Okay, fine. I, yeah, so I just 
basically break free, get around, and then I will like look for a, a rock or a stick or anything it's, to just Yeah, I, I I won't make you, you know, have to do an observation check for that. Okay. I mean, you know, there's there's rocks. I'm in, and, I'm in a shitty swamp, like there's stuff around. Yeah. I I just do that and kind of whatever kind of like defensive thing I can take, but I am very much like frozen with fear. Like I I'm panicking. Yeah, it'll 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 take your other fast action to arm yourself with yeah. a rock. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Jim, you are on there. You can continue to strangle or I now tell me how I how I could do this or if it's within the realm of possibility. Um, anything's possible. I mean, this is just like a human wrestling match, right? Yeah, you're 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 not a, a monk or a barbarian or anything. <laughs> yeah, but I am a trained cop, yeah. right? So I've had my fair share of scuffles and I want to try and wrangle him in such a way that he comes down on that hook. Um, he is still at full health at the moment. And the hook will strength. help with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he's also way bigger than you. He's like seven feet tall, like monstrous dude. Okay. Um, it would be, Get his face uh, in the I water. will let you do this, but it, it will be a, what is called a formidable role in this. So you get a minus three to your close combat. Which that's, you're only that's adding. That's a one. I then have one dice. It's a one in six chance. No. Um, well, within with your stress as well. You know. Yeah. Well, it's two dice then. Mm. But I'm also, I mean. You could also. The Hulk it, it will, would really it fuck him up. But I think it's not. It will be a regular close combat to just continue to strangle him. Okay. Can I try to. Um, like the weaker like said, he can gets. I try and bring him down to his knees by strangling him and getting a knee into his back or something while I do it? Oh, so yeah. really, like if I can get my knee into his back to make his neck come up mm, and mm. I can lock the strangle See, in. the thing is, is what you're doing is you're effectively giving him the drowning mechanic. Yeah, and, and he's about to have double and, drowning. <laughs> and what that does is that reduces his stamina, which then would obviously allow you to... Reduces HP. HP max. and stamina. Weaken yeah. him and then get him on the hook. <laughs> yeah. Just fishing for fucking cult members. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, same roll again then? Yeah, except fucking night. Oh, Jesus. he will be contesting you. Okay, I got the exact same thing. Uh, if he's contesting, Jim, like, would you consider pushing it? I would. I would. I. He's trying to whip my wife. <laughs> yeah, if he's still rolling for contend dice. You can wait to see if you need to push it. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's nice. I have one. Then it's even. So then it's because each one of mine reduces yours. Yeah. Oh, so you has. technically so have. I should push it. Does he get to keep that push die or that, that wood success? Yeah. Okay. You right. roll all your non-success. Okay, so, so I'm one away. Yes! Yes! There Woo! it is. <laughs> Holy fuck. Nice. So you stay on him and you have... Panic uh, check, though, for your one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he rolled a one. Yeah, oh, no, 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 the original... Worse. That's worse. It's a six, yeah. which is fine. Yeah, right? you're fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dance in the line here. Yeah. <laughs> also, for everyone at home, if you're thinking like, oh, one damage like that I've taken and stuff, like one damage is not too bad. My max health is three. Yeah. <laughs> my max health is two. I am half dead. So he is... Like the cutscene half killed me. Yeah. Okay. He is actually going to try and this um, guy is going to kill us <laughs> we need to run um you've you've kind of run away and hid you know uh, effectively uh, and i would say i've hid i i'm just i've put a barrier i've put something between between us jim he is actually going to make a contested roll against you as he tries to flip you off <laughs> fuck you yeah fuck you <laughs> Am I rolling my stress dice here as well? Yeah. You. Well, that's none for me, Ryan. So he he has four sixes there, but you do want to push this, I would say. Because if, <laughs> yeah. I want to push him. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah. If, right, if, if um, the GM is telling you to do something. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Right, you I'm need to get this. at least one. At least. Oh, God. Um, okay, well, I'm going to take my extra stress die, which means I'm rolling six dice on this. Well, shit. Well, fuck. This guy don't choke like they do in the city. <laughs> he has actually <clears throat> then thrown you flipped off of him, yeah. flipped you over, and is holding your head under the water. That's not great. No. But at least I know where his head is. I can kick him. Does he still have... Has he dropped the whip at no. this point? It's still in his hands. Well, then he can't have a good grip on me. It's my four limbs versus his one. I mean, I gotta go... I gotta go for the, the temple with my rock. 
Oh, Jim, you need to roll a panic roll. Yeah, that and you take a sense. you take a stress for this yeah, as well. Of course. Of course. So and so do you, Isabel. Of course, stress. Oh. Yeah, okay. I just take a stress, yeah. You do I need the panic roll or just a stress? Yeah, just a stress. That's a one. Perfect. Plus three. Plus six. Plus, sorry, six. plus four. Plus four. So five. Yeah. yeah, which is good. So, Isabel, it is your turn. Uh, great. Yeah, fantastic. Um, I'm seeing my husband getting actively drowned after I've just been fucking whipped. Um, not great. I'm going to try. Uh, I mean, people have had better days. People have had better days. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to rock this guy's world as you get ready to as you're holding it above your head you know getting ready to throw it or um, are you throwing it or are you charging him you're throwing a rock is it yeah rock the, yep. I it's the same role for me either way but I think I think my instinct would be to get up close and cool as you approach you hear a oh, oh. So you realize Michael is still alive not like no good to us yeah I, I don't care yeah, fair. <laughs> and I am going to try and close combat this guy. Yeah. Do I get any sort of bonus because I have a rock? Uh, yeah, you get a plus one to your close combat. Excellent. I will. I will take that. And it will do. It will deal one damage. You know what? I'll, I'll take anything I can get. Oh my god! I really will. Uh, that is three. Nice. Fucking stunt on him. Uh, I will stunt. Yeah, uh, I do. I do need to make a um a panic roll, so I can't push it. And make sure you can still actually do your activity. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Uh, that is a two on the die plus my tree stress. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So that is... So I'm going to stunt on him. So that's one success. So I have two stunts. Yeah. I'm going to use one to disarm him. Yeah. And the other to, I think, knock him to the ground. If you knock probably. him to the ground, then I can probably hold him under, under the water. Possibly. Because I'm already down there with him. Yeah. I think, or do I want to do more damage? I mean, I I, I don't oh, have a scale. He's a human, so maybe do more damage. Just fuck him up, and then I can do more damage to him on the next round. He drops the the whip, and he I do more damage. Fair. It's so funny. I'm so used to being the player that when you were asking, I was like, "Oh, I think you should." And I'm like, well, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm fine if you want to give us help because no. yeah, yeah, yeah. this seems like a situation in which we need help. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because I was like, "Wait a second, I don't want them to win." <laughs> <laughs> So that's actually done a good amount of damage to him then. Okay. Fucking good. Um, It's me up. It is. I'm assuming he's lost his grip on me if he's been thrown to the ground. Uh, she didn't throw him to the ground. I didn't. Oh, no, no so you did him. extra damage, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you first need to make a contested close combat roll. Or will I knock, you, will I knock you off? Did you, did, did you disarm him? Disarmed him. I disarmed him. I mean, so I am a weapon, so you took... Me out of his hand. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you choose. Do you want to mess up his arm that has the flog, or do you want to hit him in the arm that is holding your husband? I'll let you choose. That's an interesting choice. I think my my main priority is getting my is rescuing my husband and stopping him from drowning. So I will say. The other thing is though, if he if you get you know rid what? of the flog, you know what? I, I can try I, and pull I, him down to I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Go back at everything I just said. No additional damage. I want to disarm him and knock him back. So knock him down. Basically knock him off. Okay. So, so, so we, now we're both lying in the river. Yeah. It's effectively double disarm or a knock down and disarm. Whatever way you want to rule that. But I yeah. want the, the so effect to be... So you hit him. You hit him in that like soft part underneath like your Yeah. Neck. I'm using like my medical knowledge to be like, yeah. this is like exactly where I need so to So you hit, hit him in like guy. a shock point. Yeah. And he kind of like falls forward. Okay. This is your turn. I feel him release the grip on me, right? Yeah. And I'd get a sense of him splashing down next to me, or is he falling straight on top of me, or what's going on? No, he's falling beside you. I'm not going to okay. punish you that much. Cool. Um, There's plenty of other things to do that with. Yeah, no, fucking combat sense kicking in again, like realizing this guy's just got to be taken out of the game. Um, I'm going to try and get on top of him and just deal damage to his face. Yeah. Um, be a true fucking absolutely hammering him with my fists or holding his head under the water. So, it's a rock, rock, yeah. rock to the head. I don't have the rock though. Just pick up a rock. Oh, I can just pick up. Okay, I pick up a rock. <laughs> it takes uh, one of your. It, it takes one of your fast actions to pick one up. Yeah. Okay. And right. you, but you still have a slow action, which you can use to attack. Yeah. So I'm gonna fast pick up a rock, slow, bring the rock down. <laughs> yeah. Do a close combat attack. Uh, yes. And you get an additional plus one now because Four, you have a rock in your hand. No, that's because I snuck up on it. No, because I added. Yes. The oh, rock. oh shit. Okay. Nice. One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fuck me. It's still a lot of stress here. Okay. That's nice. two successes. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm going to st- 
Don't on him for extra damage. Cool. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's looking real rough. Like he's bleeding out his eyes, you know, his well, his ears probably. Um, you know, he's wobbling around a bit, uses this last bit of strength, and uh, he is just going to auto grab you, uh, Isabel. I, now, I'm on top of him hitting him with a rock. Oh, I know, but he's a big motherfucker. He just stands up. Oh, Jesus, fuck. fuck. Okay, right. yeah. And uh, he just grabs you and lifts you, like, above his head in both hands. <laughs> he lifts you to the heavens and looks like he's making some kind of prayer. And uh, this attack is called To the Heavens. And I need you both to take one stress and, yeah. uh, and do a panic roll. Jesus as it becomes Jesus Christ. very oh. clear to you, Jim. That is a 10 for me. That is a 8 for me. Yeah, Which I believe is the last thing. That's just that's the agility the thing again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jim, I, I can feel the situation. I, I, am in, I have just been clean and pressed. Look, like I'm it's... sorry, but I can <laughs> see this. <laughs> Jim, you are frozen in terror oh, as you fuck. realize what he is about to do is to bring your wife down on his knee. Yeah, he's baning. He's baning I'm me. Well, I am well aware of this move. <laughs> the, the I have come across this move in my career. The stress of you and Isabel increased by one. Again? 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 Jeez Louise. It is your turn, Isabel. Yeah. I still have my my rock, my, my trusty rock. Just drop it on him. Yeah. I mean, like, I will just try to squirm out as much as I can and hit him with a rock. I don't know what way he what I need to roll for his that. head, right? Yeah. He's got both close, hands Close combat up. or ranged, whichever one you want to do. Yeah. I know you said it was the same. Yeah, so. close combat is fine. Um, still got my plus one for my rock? Yep. Rock on. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> You're just dropping it. <laughs> that is not a single success. Okay, you need to roll your... Yeah. Come on, a one. Nope, that's oh, a nine. Overt dissatisfaction. Jim, is, you, is is there a fast action I can do here? Is there any sort of fast action? You can roll close combat to try and get out. I, yeah, but I, you, you've just used your slow action to try and attack. Okay, I'm realizing. I, so I think what's happened is because I I failed on that, and I think just his his arm span is just so much longer than mine that I I physically can't reach down in any sort of like significant way to deal damage to him. Yeah, or like I'm like. Mm. Helps you like hitting against his hand, so I'm now I'm just like okay, I need to like change tact and try and yeah do something yeah, more. Yeah, you still got a fast action. Oh, that is a single success, but uh, and yet another panic. Let's so roll your panic. Which I mean, yeah, your panic can I'm, only be I'm, eight or. This is like when an animal wants to get out of a grip, and you're just like twisting around and fucking yeah, like absolute panic fighting. So sorry. Um, that's a seven in total. Wait, it can't panic. be lower than eight. Okay, well then it's, oh, so it's immediately lower a premium. nine. It's always one higher. Okay. So you drop your rock. <laughs> yeah, fair. But at least you're you already but, had but dropped your rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I hadn't dropped it. I was just trying to like swing it. So I but still you got a, a success, but, right? But I got a success there to get out of it. You're able to wriggle out. Okay, fine. I Yeah, I'm, I say at the cost of that then is, is me dropping my rock to get... Okay, yeah. Fuck, yeah. this is awful. I'm going to brain him with a rock. You're uh, frozen You're fear. frozen. Oh, that's you lose not your slow action. Yeah, but... You lose your next slow action. But I'd still have a, a fast action would let me... Attacks range are slow. Attack. All right. Uh, well, now is the fucking time then. I'm I'm frozen. I can't physically attack him. You are panicked watching what is happening to to your uh, wife there. Okay, but so you I have see, a fast I action. It, it's Jim's the top of the turn. Does panic not reset at the top of the turn? Or it, the way froze freeze works is you lose your next. Oh, because it's the next action. thing. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, so it's reset now, but he, he's under those effects. Got it. Get you. Exactly. Get you. So I'll have my slow action next time around, you but will. I don't have it now. Yeah, correct. Um, I want to. Just, I'm gonna fuck it. I just the only thing I have. I'm gonna shout at him. Thou shalt not kill. Gonna, gonna try and use a manipulation. On I want to use a command on him. It is one of the commandments. <laughs> <laughs> Very literal. He follows his father so, so thoroughly that you are gonna get a minus one on this. That's fine. I actually have quite a good command, uh, so I'm still rolling four on it. Okay, nice. Plus all your stress. Plus all my stress. I mean, look at them. There's so fucking many of so them. So much stress. Jesus Christ. Um, I like to think that I'm so stressed, the fucking honesty of this, it's almost like a, a prayer. 
<laughs> nice. That is... Jesus, fuck, fuck, fuck. So many fucking dice. Can I push this? No. No? Yeah. Okay. You've... You oh, you rolled a one. Oh, I'm sorry, I rolled a one. Yeah, you I actually roll rolled panic. three ones. <laughs> That's fucking six. Yeesh. That no, is... That is it's a much more than a six. It's a ten. It's twelve, Ryan. I rolled a fucking twelve. You scream in panic for one entire round. You lose your next slow action. Your stress level is decreased by one. Right. Oh, they could hardly get effects of a nice scream. But you make anyone, an immediate panic roll. Is there is there okay, any yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, is there fair, any fair. game system on this earth that will not stun lock me for the boss fight? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm surprisingly okay. Roll the six. Good. Um. See, the thing is, Jim, you yelling that is that the angel never means to kill anyone. He's just punishing them. It's their bodies which can't <laughs> oh, withstand their book. sin. <laughs> he, luckily for you guys, is actually uh, just going to... He's furious that he's dropped you. He's in a sh- huge amount of pain, and he's just going to scream, which does, of course, let the rest of the town know something is going poorly. <laughs> yeah, um, well, makes sense. But you all gain one stress level. Oh, and it comes right back. Nice. I'll just take you back, little Did, friend. Oh, no, it's only him that lost the stress level for... Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I screamed, and yeah, then yeah. I screamed, and it got rid of my stress, and then he screamed, and it sent it right back. It's like <laughs> I screamed, and it went in his mouth, and then he goes, bah, and it goes back in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Sexy. Let's I love go. it. He, you screamed at him, thou shalt not kill, and he just screams back at you. <laughs> Fucking easy, Chewy. Okay, All right. well, um... Well, I'm not a Christian. I didn't fucking... I'm not following the commandments. I'm going to kill, uh, and I got to try... I pick up my rock and... Go for it. Hit him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. It's better. I need to panic roll, but that is that is two successes. Good. Uh, and the stunt is, if I can stunt, it's uh, additional damage. Has to be. <laughs> oh, I panic a lot. <laughs> like, like a lot. Um, that is a uh, six. That's a little 11 on the panic. That just means after this that you have to uh, seek help or, you know, seek cover. I mean. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta get okay. out of here. Sure, yeah. You Fine. have broken him. He falls down into it, and you know, under the swamp, and you've taken him out. You have not killed him, but you have broken him. Um, and Fine. you are just Fine terrified yeah. of this and need to seek yeah. c- I, cover. I, Gordon, 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 look, we need, we need to get, we need to find out, we need to get out. Okay, we need to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Um, I'm not having this fucker chase us, though. So you do see Michael beginning to like. Michael, how do we get out of here? Where are we? Oh, what, what is what is going on? What is going on? We, we just we we need to get out. We need to get out. Uh, I, I I I can't I can't move. And you see that what the father had meant by give him the chains was that. Michael was probably never meant to leave this area because there's a chain around his, like a, like a, a welded, like, uh, ring around his chest okay. that is then locked like onto a, a chain that is then, so there's a, a length of chain that then chains him onto this post. But the post, you could probably pull out of the swamp, but he is chained to this post. I mean, my 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 panic effect is as I have to run, so I'm I'm running. Like I, uh, can I say that while she had that brief conversation with Michael, I put Das Boot in on on the angel and finished him off. You will have to fail an empathy roll. So roll empathy for me, Dylan. I need you to actually roll empathy as well. See if it overcomes. Of course, I passed this fucking roll. Oh, sorry, empty. Okay, I just rolled it. Stress. I don't stress. trigger. I don't trigger stress. I don't trigger panic. But I do pass the empathy roll. You, Jim, understand that this this, this is this a is someone who has been led astray. This isn't somebody who's doing this of their own volition. Yeah. This is someone with a child's mind that has been told this is what they should be doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. I, I like raise. You know, I raise my hands to fucking hold his head underwater or whatever, and then I just kind of 
I look at him and I think better of it. I'm also freaking out and running. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going fail to try or pass? And... I passed. Way to panic roll. Which means your empathetic side is coming through. Yeah. And you don't want to leave Michael. Mm, yeah, fair. Because the cult was going to kill him. That was the idea. First off, I take the flail. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, get the hook as well. Can it's we? Actually, a cat of nine tails. Yeah, yeah for sure. I have that now. Mm. Um, um, okay. Then, as Gordon's kind of dealing with uh, Angel, yeah, I think I, I was like, I've run over to to Michael, and I was like, Mike, what the fuck is this place? Who, who, who are you all? We're Allison's parents. We need to get her out of here. You're, you're Allison's parents. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I would love to see her again. Like, what should we see her again? Where is she? she she's in the house. What, which, which house, Michael? The, the main house by by the by the, the by the church at the front. Oh, thank you. Can you show us where it is? Can you bring us there? We can. Uh, I, that was con. <laughs> can can you help me? Yeah. F- yeah. Fine. Um, uh, can like, we just break the pole where the chain is locked around it? That'd be the easiest thing. It's, a, it's a, a big. It's thick a post. Post like okay. it's a big post. Um, I flay it about 18,000 times. You, it, it's in swamp, so... We can just not, pull it out of the ground. Yeah, but yeah. it's a big fucking... Michael hole. is, like, standing up to, like, help you. He's quite bloody on his back. You know, he's not great, but... This is so unhygienic. Um, yeah, I think we just... If we if we all pull it out, and then we can probably just, like, slide whatever the band is it's off. It's wet. Yeah, we get the band wet, and we just slide it off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's what we do. Sure. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, See, so you help get that out, and Michael was like, "Oh, they they would have heard him yelling. We we've we've got to go quick. Uh, uh, don't worry, I've got this. This will be my post to bear." And uh, Jesus Christ, literally just Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Can we not? It's wet. Can we not slip the manacle off the post so he just has to? No, it's like bolted it. into okay. it. You know. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's very attached on both ends, and it's locked around him. Oh, this is so cumbersome. Okay. Yeah. Which way, Michael? So. If if we head this direction, like we'll get back to town, um, you know, and and it's. But the problem is, is they're going to be everywhere. But oh, I I bet we could go under the prayer house. That that would be okay. Um, the, Wh- whatever it takes, just just fucking bring us to the prayer. Bring house, us to please. Allison. We if we just go up that way. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, here you. I, I, I got it, I got it. No, yo, I don't need any help. Let's go. I need one of you to make a mobility roll as you try to stealth your way through this. Fuck this. That's uh, my mobility is five. Uh, minus five. Who has the more stress dice? Um, I have six. I also have six. <laughs> uh, this is not great. I'll do it. That's a pass with one panic. Two. So How many is... passes did you get? You got two. I got two. Because it was contested against oh, their observation. Fuck. As you get closer. It's going to be very um, hard to be stealthy with fucking jangles over here. Like, yeah. You've, you've made it w- your way through the swamp. And then behind you, you begin to hear shouting as people have, you know, obviously come hearing the screaming. Yeah. And uh, are beginning to discover what's going on. And you begin to hear search parties begin to go out into the woods. Dogs barking. Um, flashlights being don't, shown. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> As um, you approach all the houses and you begin to, you know, it's still very swampy. It's flooded up at this point, but you're at the you know, poorer section at the back of this town. Michael leads you and you hear singing just over and over, like more of that chant singing that you had heard before. And on either side of this house, you see parties with dogs and men with shotguns standing there. But the prayer house itself is on stilts. I mean, we got to go under it then. And this will lead you back into the town. The other side, you will be back in town. Can we see the big house from here? It's very dark and you can't quite see into town. Oh, yeah, it's like my time is yeah. Mm. yeah. Nighttime. I was kind of hoping to see the lights of it, like above everything else, if you know what I mean, to get a sense. Yeah, no, not because because you're still kind of coming out of a wooded area. Um, there's yeah, things yeah. in and our way. A, and even the prayer yeah. house is going to obscure us at this distance. And, and right? they have lights on, you know, in the, you know, it's not like medieval times with torches yeah. or anything. Yeah. Like there's lights on and things like that. Okay. 
we got to go in there. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, what else can we do? You know, we, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could go around, but there's dogs in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know? and we are going to stench of fucking like. I came here wearing cologne. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. And they'll know Michael is gone as well. Yeah. So yeah, they will for sure. So the water is still like shin high. So you know, if you try and crawl under this face first, you'll drown. Yeah. So the only way through is to lay on your back. Oh, on our side. I'm going to... Oh, okay. And to kind of pull your way through this. Kind of up on our elbows, Jeff? Yeah. Okay. Poor Michael. He's got the fucking... He is refusing help. You know, he's saying... Oh, I'm not off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. As you go, the singing is louder and louder. And you realize that you can see through the slats in the wood. And uh, I need you to make a first mobility roll. That no one sees you. Just one of us? Yeah, you can only do one person for okay. five among us. Yeah, same, same. How? You gotta push it. I gotta push it. That's so many dice. You hear this? This is Listeners, 12 dice. This is fear. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one okay, just one. There's a success, but there's a tree. Fucking Holy fuck. Max roll again on the panic. That is uh, 13. Oh, your, your, as you traveled through this, it would have taken some time, so your stress would have gone down by, like, two. Okay. Because it would have taken, like, okay. ten minutes. Still or less time. Yeah, but that's much better, because you just need yeah, to, like, seek cover. So you're pretty stressed out, but you've, you're basically in cover anyway. Okay. So so both of you have your stress reduced by two cool. during this time, because it's, like, ten minutes of travel. As you went. So mine's gone back up for pushing. Your anyway, so. health has also gone up by one for both of you. And as you're going through and you see all these people singing above you, suddenly the singing fades. You hear a familiar voice. Oh, my children, my children, my children. As it is said in Proverbs 3.33, the Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the house of righteousness. Unfortunately, what we have in front of us here today is a sinner. Now, Jacob, <sighs> repent to your brothers and sisters. That is how you come clean. What is it that you have done? Your voice go, my, my father, I, I, I wanted to see the world again. I, I wanted to go back to my drinking and my, my legs, they... He tried to carry me out of this place. Fuck. But I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. I, my legs, they just want me to go. They crave this drink. Oh, I know, my son. My son, it can... There are our bodies, our flesh. They are sinful. But our souls, they are what is strong. As it is said in the good book, my children, if... Your right hand sins. You should cut it off. Because it is better to enter the house of the Lord maimed than it is to be thrown into the lake of fire as a sinner. So these legs of yours, brother, they lead you to sin. And you hear Jacob call out, Father, please release me from my sins. From this wretched, sinful body. Oh, well, if you want. Let me, let me be perfect in the Lord's image. And with that, you hear a disgusting slice and a clump onto the wood directly above you, Isabel. And I need you to make a panic roll yeah, no shit. as the blood <laughs> begins to pour down onto your face. Oh. This. Give me one or a two. That would be great. No, that's an eight. You're able to keep your mouth closed and not scream as this happens. And you're able to stay silent, at least, <laughs> as this happens. I've, I think, I think to to get visceral about it, why, why not? You're, you're at a this doctor. Point. I'm a doctor. I, I've been... I, want, I don't want to say subject, but I've been witness to... You probably have blood sprayed on you. I've had, I've, oh, undoubtedly, like a weekly occurrence. Yeah. And I've had people 
die on my operating table. I've had people die in beds. Like, I'm no stranger to this. And I think that... I think Isabel just, like... Something, like, switches in her brain to just... Just just numbness. Yeah. Just complete, like, numbness to be, like... Work mode. Work, yeah. work mode activated. There's, like, just being, like... I, I just... I go through all the, like, the, the things of, like... This said it should be treated. This like you know, like you know, estimated rest time. This is like you know what I how I think their prognosis is and, and what the recovery thing is. And like I just kind of repeat that through my head again and again and again and yeah. again. As this happens, he says, "My brothers and sisters, come forward and be bathed in the redeemed blood." Well, that's fucked up. Jesus. Well, you're redeemed then. And as they walk forward, he dips his hands into the severed leg and he paints a cross across their face as they one by one walk forward to be bathed in the redeemed blood. Like your face. Like my face. Like your face. This is fucked up. If you're listening to this audio only, Ryan has had a Just cross um, Don't look at it. It's painted on our, in, it's on in our, blood. It's yeah. on our socials somewhere. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's literally sitting here like a F- follow us on Instagram. I, yeah. don't, I don't have the heart to. I don't want to. <laughs> you they say always be hustling, but sometimes you can't be hustling. Yeah. You through this manage to make it to the other side. You, you sneak your way through, and you see this large house in front of you. And Michael says, "There's, there, there, uh, I've never been in there, but I know there's a door around back." Oh, let's fucking go. Let's just get her and get out. Come yeah. On. Like how how and, long do you think that they're going to be busy with whatever? Whatever that is. He's hand painting every fucking cultist in there. It's going to take him a little while at least. Yeah, true. Gordon, as you get toward the back door, you see one man there with a knife blocking the way. He doesn't see you yet. Um, you, you have the, you have the cat the, nine tails. I, yeah, but it's not going to kill him in one go, but I could. But you could disarm, disarm him. him. Yeah. Right. Well, let's could kill him in one. Uh, m- oh, quick, yeah, he's just a human. Quick what? mechanics question. How many additional dice is the Cat of Nine Tails giving for close um, combat? It's it's a uh, nine. <laughs> it's actually the same as the rock. Okay, it's hard to get extra damage. Sure. In this game. Okay, fine. I pick up a rock. It seems like it's going to kill him easier. <laughs> but the thing is, is he that you do not have rock to him. be in I engaged. Think I might throw a rock at him. You don't have to be in engaged just, range. Okay, you can be in short distance because it's a Cause Cat it's a, of Nine Tails. Because it's a, the, the the things on the end are projectiles, not projectiles, but you but know what re, I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you need to be at distance to use it, which is why he pushed me away. Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna exactly. I'm gonna crap up behind him, um, uh, to a maximum cat o nine tails distance, and I'm gonna play him. I guess. So roll mobility against his observation. I just, I, me. I just, sorry, I'm not doing it. It's. I just can't yeah, see can't. this. He's just going to not die and start screaming. But if I hit him with a rock, he'll go down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, I, can't, you, I, can't, you can't use their weapons. Like, no. Their weapons are fucking filthy. They're like. sadistic weapons made to make people scream. I'm, I'm going to hit him with a rock. Or. Good on this weapon. The fucking. Could I just get the stick that Michael is tied to and bonk him as hard as I can in the head with it? You have to bring Michael with you, which would make your mobility roll much harder. <laughs> Yeah, because he's clanky. Okay, yeah. For, it's going to be a rock to the back of the head. Okay, roll mobility for me first. Do I even know if this guy... Maybe here's, this- a, here's a question. Yeah. Do I think... This is a very small town, a small congregation. As a doctor, I have to memorize a lot of people and understand their... Just, just remember my patients, right? Mm. So I'm probably good with faces. Do I think that this person has seen us? Has he been in, was he in that initial um, congregation thing? Or is his like role in this space a, a guard who's maybe would have been always outside? Well, that's thing? what I was thinking. Do we even know if he's there with a knife? Do I? Do I is he trying to get out as that, well? That, well, that's my first. Well, no, he's definitely there as a guard. I, they would give their guard something more than a knife, I'd imagine. It's just a hillbilly though. Oh, okay. And the guys with the guns are all out hunting for you. Okay. Do you want? Have you a check you want to make here? I, I'm I... thinking if can I to give you a better chance at this? Can I come forth pleading that like, oh, we've we've seen them. They're over here or something like? Is there? 
Am I? You can like, try manipulation. Like that's what I'm trying to like. Just so when I club him, is that going to give me? Because I'm already getting an extra. Am I getting two because I'm behind him and have a rock? If you had passed, if if we were going to do the stealth way, then you would get you would have to pass a mobility versus his observation to get any bonus. But if, this way, if Dylan passes, takes the place of that, and you would still get your plus two. So it's so it's m- my mobility to me- to versus your minute. my manipulation. manipulation. I've got six manipulation, uh, and I have five mobility. Yeah, like, it's, it makes it makes more sense to do it that. Yeah, way. I think Talk so. Talk to me. Hey, what are you? Hey, what are hey, you doing? Hey, we're, hey, we we found like we found them. We found them. They're 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 over here. And I who, just like who are you? Do you not recognize me? We're sons. Of, oh wait, no. We we we've only just recently co- we've only recently come. I'm I'm Sister Isabel. What? Uh, wait, this is so weird. I, I don't know you at all. Shouldn't shouldn't you be in the prayer house? You should be fucking out, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just trying to. Uh, that is a, neither a single su- success, but I'm I'm going to push it because I think it's. This is a this is push worthy. And you were trying. You're kind of getting stressed as you were talking. So I yeah think yeah that's yeah good. yeah. I'm going to be penitent with my dice for a while. Oh yeah, that nice. is. Uh, it's like four successes. I do need to panic, but. Still done three times. <laughs> oh, that's a bad panic. Um. Oh no, I stress had reduced a little bit, so it's not the worst, but it's still not great. That is 11. Okay. It won't make a difference right now. Yeah. Um, Jim. Rock him. Yep. You Rock got plus his two. Rock his world. world. I'm rolling nine dice plus. Yeah. And, and if you can if you can stunt a bit. Yeah. To make him drop his knife, I can pick up the knife. Yeah. I might just straight kill him. Like, I mean, well, also, break break him. also break fine. Him. Also fine. Yeah. Let's look. Look at all of them. I'm going to be dead. That is one, two, two successes. Okay. He's These just a, dice are rolling so far. Like, how can I roll that many dice and only get two yeah. six? He's a regular dude, so I would recommend just I'm just going to do the extra damage. damage and break him. Yeah. Say. It yeah. totally just knocks him to the ground. Knocks okay. him out. Nice. Uh, eight on the panic. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're a bit freaked out because you're suddenly another person that you're having to completely break, you know, not, not, in this way. It's not unknown to me. I like, I took Max out. As you finish this, you turn and you look and you see that Michael has kind of collapsed. He's struggling. He's on the ground. Can we use the knife to shave the the thing so we can wiggle it free or something? It would take hours. Mm. I am picking up the knife, though. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to help Michael up or anything? Well, he doesn't want it, but yeah, sure. We'll try. Yeah, he, he takes your, you know, you're not taking the post off him. You're yeah, helping, helping him, him up. up. As you go and you try the back door, it is locked. Michael weakly points, and you see that there is a window into the basement. Mm-hmm. Completely dark in there, but you could crawl your way through. And with that, we'll end episode two. Literally, as we're about to crawl into the depths of fucking hell. Well, look, thanks for coming. Yeah. Sorry, again. Um, we hope you enjoyed it, you fucking masochists. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>